Arson is the crime of intentionally, deliberately and maliciously setting fire to buildings, wildland areas, abandoned homes, vehicles or other property with the intent to cause damage or enjoy the act. It may be distinguished from other causes such as spontaneous combustion, accidental fires e.g. smoking in bed, and natural wildfires. Arson often involves someone deliberately burning their own property, or having someone else do it, to collect the insurance. A person who commits arson is an arsonist. More often than not, arsonists use accelerants such as gasoline or kerosene to ignite, propel and directionalize fires. An arsonist may or may not be a pyromaniac, depending on his or her motives e.g. whether the arson was done out of financial duress or the mere desire to watch fire destroy land, property, etc. English common law Historically, the common law crime of arson had four elements the malicious burning of the dwelling of another malicious for purposes of common law arson. Malicious refers action creating a great risk of a burning. It is not required that the defendant acted intentionally or willfully for the purpose of burning a dwelling. Burning at common law charring to any part of dwelling was sufficient to satisfy this element. No significant amount of damage to the dwelling was required. Any injury or damage to the structure caused by exposure to heat or flame is sufficient. Of the dwelling Dwelling refers to a place of residence. The destruction of an unoccupied building was not considered arson. Since arson protected habitation, the burning of an unoccupied house did not constitute arson. At common law a structure did not become a residence until the first occupants had moved in, and ceased to be a dwelling if the occupants abandoned the premises with no intention of resuming their residency. Dwelling includes structures and outbuildings within the curtilage. Dwellings were not limited to houses. A barn could be the subject of arson occupied as a dwelling. Of another, burning one's own dwelling does not constitute common law arson, even if the purpose was to collect insurance, because it was generally assumed in early England that one had the legal right to destroy his own property in any manner he chose. Moreover, for purposes of common law arson, possession or occupancy rather than title determines whose dwelling the structure is. Thus a tenant who sets fire to his rented house would not be guilty of common law arson, while the landlord who set fire to a rented dwelling house would be guilty. Degrees Many U.S. state legal systems and the legal systems of several other countries divide arson into degrees, depending sometimes on the value of the property but more commonly on its use and whether the crime was committed in the day or night. First degree arson, burning an occupied structure such as a school or a place where people are normally present. Second degree arson, burning an unoccupied building such as an empty barn or an unoccupied house or other structure in order to claim insurance on such property. Third degree arson, burning an abandoned building or an abandoned area, such as a field, forest or woods. Many statutes vary the degree of the crime according to the criminal intent of the accused. Some U.S. states use other degrees of arson, such as fourth and fifth degree, while some states don't categorize arson by any degree. For example, in the state of Tennessee, arson is categorized as arson and aggravated arson. <laughs> United States In the United States, the common law elements of arson are often varied in different jurisdictions. For example, the element of dwelling is no longer required in most states, and arson occurs by the burning of any real property without consent or with unlawful intent. Arson is prosecuted with attention to degree of severity in the alleged offense. First degree arson generally occurs when persons are harmed or killed in the course of the fire, while second degree arson occurs when significant destruction of property occurs. While usually a felony, arson may also be prosecuted as a misdemeanor, criminal mischief, or destruction of property. Burglary also occurs, if the arson involved a breaking and entering. A person may be sentenced to death if arson occurred as a method of homicide, as was the case in California of Raymond Lee Euler and in Texas of Cameron Todd Willingham. 
In New York, arson is charged in five degrees. Arson in the first degree is a Class A1 felony and requires the intent to burn the building with a person inside using an explosive incendiary device. It has a maximum sentence of 25 years to life. In California, a conviction for arson of property that is not your own is a felony punishable by up to three years in state prison. Aggravated arson, which carries the most severe punishment for arson, is punishable by 10 years to life in state prison. Raymond Lee Euler was ultimately convicted of murder and sentenced to death for a 2006 fire in Southern California that led to the deaths of five U.S. Forest Service firefighters. He was the first U.S. citizen to receive such a conviction and penalty for wildfire arson. Some states, such as California, prosecute the lesser offense of reckless burning when the fire is set recklessly as opposed to willfully and maliciously. The study of the causes is the subject of fire investigation. England, Wales, and Hong Kong In English law, arson was a common law offence except for the offence of arson in royal dockyards dealing with the criminal destruction of buildings by fire. The common law offence was abolished by S.11 of the Criminal Damage Act 1971. The 1971 Act makes no distinction as to mode of destruction except that S.1 requires that if the destruction is by fire, the offense is charged as arson. S.4 of the Act provides a maximum penalty of life imprisonment for conviction under S.1 whether or not the offense is charged as arson. In Hong Kong, the common law offense was abolished by S. 67 of the Crimes Ordinance 1971 Part 8 of which, as amended by Crimes Amendment Ordinance 1972, mirrored the English Criminal Damage Act 1971. Like the English counterparts, 63 of the 1972 Ordinance provides a maximum penalty of life imprisonment, and S. 63 of the Ordinance requires that if the damage is by fire the offense should be charged as arson. Scotland Scotland has no offence known as arson. Events constituting arson in English law might be dealt with as one or more of a variety of offences such as willful fire-raising, culpable and reckless conduct, vandalism or other offences depending on the circumstances of the event. The more serious offences in particular willful fire-raising and culpable and reckless conduct can incur a sentence of life imprisonment. See also Arson in Royal Dockyards Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives ATF, FBI Fire Investigation Firefighter Arson Herostratus Insurance Fraud John Leonard or John Magno Pyromania Reckless Burning Molotov cocktail Shrubland